When it comes to backcountry food, you want something that's super hearty. So one of my favorite recipes is a venison ranch masher. It's got a lot of vegetables, potatoes, and of course, some wild game meat. I'm gonna start with prepping our vegetables. We're gonna do a little bit of cutting and cooking on the ingredients going into it, and then we'll brown the meat as well. Any fresh vegetables that I dehydrate, I, I will like steam or blanch first. It's only because it kind of helps the rehydration process. So just by doing that, it actually allows it to rehydrate a little bit better. So I'll just put these in here. I don't want to cook the nutrients out of it, but I do want to just get them a, a little bit better prepped. So when I dehydrate it, when I rehydrate it, it soaks in the water a lot faster and then it just ends up being a lot better product in the end. Now that these are done, I'm gonna take it over here and we're gonna start laying it on our trays ready for the dehydrator. And we'll start dehydrating our meal and then we'll assemble it in our bags and we'll be ready to take it on the mountain. We've got our meat cooked, our vegetables cooked, and then the vegetables that needed blanching are blanched. What I'm doing is I'm measuring out my serving size. So I'm doing about a cup of meat, which is about five ounces per serving. And then I kind of will separate that out on the trays so I know exactly how much pre-dried serving it is. And then we'll put this in the dehydrator. We'll separate everything out. I'll do an individual sheet for the vegetables, the whole serving for one meal. Then we'll combine it at the end once it's all completely dehydrated. Really get a good even spacing because you want everything to dry at the same, the same rate. And then we're going to put the meat in at 165 degrees. And then we're going to do the vegetables around 120 to 130. I'm going to separate out a full meal on this one with all the vegetables. So I'm doing a pretty much a tablespoon of each. Some of these you can kind of eyeball as well. I'll, I'll do two tablespoons of the zucchini, it's pretty good. And then a tablespoon of corn. So this will all go into one meal right here. It makes it easy to separate it out pre-dehydration. Pre all right, so it's got all the vegetables that are going in that one meal right here. I'm gonna put it in the dehydrator. 120 degrees, should be perfect. We're about starting at four hours and then we'll check it. Well, our venison ranch mashers are done. We've got everything dehydrated. We've got the meat, the vegetables. We're gonna now vacuum seal it. I'm gonna put the ingredients that we dehydrated. It's separate from the potato. So I got two bags. I wrote a little bit of instructions on the back. I'm gonna vacuum seal this one first in the chamber vac, then I'll pour the potatoes in the larger bag, vacuum seal that, and it'll be ready to hit the trail. We're gonna add a tablespoon of ranch powder in with our dehydrated potatoes. We'll mix that up, and that'll all go in the bag, and we'll mix it in with the meat and vegetables that we dehydrated earlier. I put a food grade silica pack in here just to soak up any extra moisture in case there's any in the bag. We'll just put it in the vac sealer and seal it up. Awesome. So we've got the dry packet sealed. I'm now I'm gonna put it in this other bag and then I'll seal the potatoes with this. So that way it's easy in the back country. I can just separate out the ingredients because the potatoes rehydrate really fast. So I want the best consistency for rehydrating, which would be doing the meat and the vegetables separate and then the potato and then adding that with the water to the potatoes. So got it all in here. Awesome. Perfectly sealed venison ranch mashers ready to hit the mountain. In order to rehydrate this, what we'll do is we'll pull out the pack with the dehydrated meat and vegetables. We'll add two cups of boiling water into our pot. We'll pour the vegetables and meat into the pot and let those rehydrate first. And then we'll take the water with everything rehydrated in it and dump it into the mashed potatoes. Whip it up real quick and you've got your ranch mashers. All right, so it was a long day chasing elk today. I'm just gonna make this, we made these venison ranch mash potatoes. Got a little bit of ground venison, Brussels sprouts. Everything is pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna heat up some water here. I've got about eh, 10 ounces, about a cup and a half. I'm gonna put that on the pot, boil it. I'll then put in the meat pack with the vegetables, let it simmer in that, rehydrate, and then I'll pour all that into the ranch mashed potatoes. Turn it down a little bit. 
add the meat and vegetables. Everything's rehydrated. I got Brussels sprouts, some venison, some broccoli, a little bit of everything. So now I'm just gonna dump the water with all the meat and everything into the mashed potatoes, mix it around. Have ourselves some dinner. Ranch, Brussels sprout, mashed potatoes with some venison, a little bit of squash, some broccoli, everything. Mm. That's really good. Get rehydrated really well. Eat this, go to bed, charge after the elk tomorrow.